But looking at the angle here, really good angle through outside zone one, too. This view just gives us a really Love good indication. That. that transition was so good. Got the car slowed perfectly for outside zone number two. His line and a little bobble there through outside zone number three was uh, a little bit off, but then four, so, so good through four. Do we have a new leader? Yes, we do. Kazuya Taguchi with a 91. Jeez, where to start? Um, look, like, one of the most fulfilling things about doing this job and and sticking in it for 20 years is getting to see people fulfill their dreams, to live their dreams. And for sure, the moment tonight goes to Kazuya Taguchi because he did just that after five years. And that's a long time to wait. If you're a champion in Japan and you come over here and you're not seeing the success that you want to continue to battle and battle and battle and battle and then get that moment and follow in the footsteps of guys just like you, Reader, Sharpentier, Hughes. It's a very interesting turn and twist in a championship that has so many twists and turns. Every single day you wake up in this sport, something new is happening. And that is just like so amazing. And it makes one of the, one of the reasons to love the job is because everything is always in constant flux. Your bet. Speaking of dealer's choice, here we go. Kazuya Taguchi and Dan Burkett coming in the first outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi up garage. ISR performed. Ooh, Dan Burkett swings wide on that first outside zone. Let's see if that momentum of Kazuya Taguchi will continue. Place there in the chase position. So let's watch from the, the, the sky view here. You can see that Taguchi is in outside zone number one. Power is not. He's outside the box. Same thing goes for outside zone number two. So Federico. Going door to door, and we'll see if he paces it properly. Because the O oh, and Fetty goes off to the right. The first portion of this battle. Because it's a Gucci initiates. That field right there. Tucking into that GT radio smoke. The Falcon tires being kicked off in the back end of that Corvette. Great angle from Kazuya Taguchi. That feels good proximity. Love to see him mimic that angle. Look at Kazuya Taguchi. What oh. switch did he hit? Oh, as he taps that wall, but he continues on. And Matt Field takes doors. Yes, sir. Make some noise. St. Louis. It is both cars need, both drivers need to call a competition timeout if they both want to touch their cars. But Kazuya Taguchi holds that proximity, holds back, tempers the flame. Going into that final outside zone, goes oh, back. Oh, Kazuya Taguchi, contact. You saw that connection, they kind of go towards him, but Matt Field stays in it. Who lets slide left to right, left for Kazuya, right for Matt Field, one more time, one more time, and there it is. They are going at it again. Blue yeah. Shadow has to back off just a little bit. That might be a wide Whoa. approach. Oh, he gets into that. Oh, man. Gets in that berm, and that rumble trip quite a bit. That is a rumble mountain. And coming into that, now in that final outside zone. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, gets into the chain link. Oh, boy. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
You get Kazuya Taguchi. He's been banging away. We've seen him in a brand new GTR R35. We saw him in S15. He looked great. Why are you debuting a new car? Well, guess what? It all came to fruition here in St. Louis. Number one qualifier wins the event, going through Ryan Turk, who got the first win. Ichiban Baby. He takes it in such grand fashion. I moved here three years ago for this, to compete Formula D USA. Um, I was competing uh, Formula D Japan uh, three, four years, and always I dreamed to compete here, Formula D USA. And uh, after 2018, you know, we're trying to get more wing to get the podium, and I'm, I'm competing over five, five years with Jerry M, which is my team. So we are looking for this moment today. So I will never forget today in St. Louis. So, but I'm, I still can believe it. 